Adam Moslin, the AM570 LA Sports. Rodney, in watching game film on you, you got a floater in the lane that you also use then later as a pass to high flyers. You have someone like Montrez Harrell on this team. Could that be a combination and somebody you're looking to uh, create for? Uh, yeah, it is. And we have, um, we've been practicing that, you know, in our you know, open gym runs. And also you have other guys who, you know, I can do the same thing with like Zubac, you know, Jamaica as well. We have some real athletic bigs that, you know, I look forward to, you know, throwing those lobs too. Gentlemen, Eric Pincus, Basketball Insiders and Bleacher Report. Uh, Bleacher, sorry, Bleacher Report. Uh, Rodney, uh, you got a chance to be with the team, but really didn't get to play. Uh, can you just kind of share what you got from that and then how easy or difficult it was to make the decision to return? And then also want to get Jerome, just share what you uh, got out of the playoffs. And obviously, you're on a veteran team, a young guy. How do you fit in as a young guy and make your way in this situation? I would say uh, just being a part of this team in, the, in that playoff run. I just got to, you know, experience the culture and the way things happen here, and uh, it, it was it was an easy decision to make, you know, come free agency time because I wanted to be a part of this culture and love the way guys play, I love practices, how everything went, I love the way Doc coached, so it just made it very simple for me. And then just as a young guy, it's fun. Um, you got guys kind of a lot, not a lot older, but you know, some of them ten years older than you. Um, but it feels like that they're the same age as you. You know, they've been doing this for so long. They got a routine. Um, they'd like to teach you the ropes. Um, so it, it was a lot of fun kind of stepping into that as a young guy. And um, I look forward to it. Jerome, now that you have a full year under your belt of NBA experience, how was your preparation different this summer as you get ready for this year? Yeah, so for me, um, when you go into your first year, you know, everybody, you know, is telling you, you know, how, how it's going to go, but everybody's experience is totally different. So after you have your first year of experience, you know, then you know how to prep yourself for the summer. You know, you know what you're going to see. You kind of you kind of feel like you, you've seen it before now, like before it's it's a blind room. Um, but after after having a full year now, I, I got to grow this summer and uh, looking forward to this year. Lewis Keen, Real GM. Jerome. Uh, you've obviously been watching Paul George and Kawhi Leonard play basketball since you were probably in, in grade school or high school. Uh, what's your impression having met them the first time? Were you, were you nervous at all to meet them? And, and what were they like? What, what have you found out about them? I would say uh, I, wasn't, I wasn't nervous. Um, now that I'm in the NBA, you know, you meet a lot of guys that are obviously in the NBA too. So it's, you know, you, you fit right in with them. And, you know, they, they greeted me with open arms. Um, Kawhi, PG, they're both great guys. Um, so it was, it was pretty easy, man. Like even with them coming with the team, like they just fit right in like a puzzle piece. Um, their personalities, their demeanor, different things like that. It's, it's, uh, it's been a great fit and it's, it's, it was great to meet them and, and now to become, you know, one of their brothers as a teammate. Got a question over here? Hey, Jerome, uh, William locked on Clippers. Uh, I just want to ask, how's it been um, with Shea being shipped off to Oklahoma City? Like, have you guys talked at all, or how, how do you feel it possibly expands your role with the team? Yeah, so me and Shea are still really close friends. Uh, I just talked to him on the phone yesterday. I went and saw him in Toronto, um, and he's doing well. Um, but, I mean, it, it was tough uh, coming in together and then him leaving. But for me, it's just to you know, keep growing and getting better every day. Um, I know that I want my role to, to step up, and I, I know that for me, I have to show that to get on the court, and, uh, and that's about it. There's Arlie from Clutch Points right here. Uh, for Rodney, a um, little two-parter here. What did you take away from your time in Miami that you can bring here? And second, what was going through your head when you got waived and then picked up, but you knew you wouldn't be eligible to play? What was going through your mind? Were you worried that it wouldn't fit? Well, what was going through your mind? I'm gonna start with uh, the second question. But uh, what went through my head when I got waived, and you know, I understood uh, you know, the, the logistics of things and why why the decision was made. But when I got got picked up by the Clippers, uh, uh, I was just thankful. You know, just just still be in this league to you know come to a, a great playoff, uh, a great team. You know, who made the playoffs, had a tremendous run last season, and. I just was uh, appreciative of the, the playoff experience, I would say. You know, you learn a lot just from watching basketball games up close. Like, even 
it's better to watch a game up close than on TV. You know, you, you see the things, the little details and the stuff that you might miss. Uh, you being in the huddles, you know, learning, learning how Doc style of play, you know, and and learning how guys react in the heat of the moment. So I was thankful for that, for that opportunity. But uh, I would say Miami and, and the Clippers are both first two first class organizations. Uh, ran from ran from you know great historic people from top to bottom. So I'm just thankful to be to, to be able to be part of you know two tremendous organizations. Question over here. Hey guys, uh, Christian Rivas, Time Magazine. Um, Jerome, there, it, when you look at the roster, there's a very clear need uh, or spot, I should say, for a guard on the roster to, to soak up big minutes. How confident are you that you can slide into either the one or the two, and how did the offseason prepare you uh, to take on a role like that? Yeah, for me, I'm very confident about that. Um, I mean, I, I think that's that's why I'm here, is, is to step into that role and to grow as a player. Um, and I know, you know, as game time comes, you, you get better and better. Um, for, for me, it's just to, you know, help this team win, do whatever I have to do to, to get those minutes, um, either it's the one or the two, um, and, just, and just play hard. I know playing hard is the number one thing that's going to keep you on the court. Um, uh, Yovan Buha, The Athletic. This one's for both of you, though. Jerome, you just kind of touched on that. Uh, this is such a deep roster, especially on the wings at like the two and the three. Uh, what do you guys think you have to do or show individually to kind of carve out the role that you know you think you deserve? Uh, me personally, I think you just have to be yourself. Like, don't try to do anything that's out of your character. It's just go out there and play the game of basketball that you've been playing with confidence, and everything else will handle handle itself. I second that. That's that's a that's a big thing. Is just being yourself. Um, don't do too much, and go out there and, and play hard um, with this team. Uh, with Doc, you know, defense and the offensive side, they'll take care of themselves, and, and you just got to trust the system. Hi guys, Miriam Swanson, Southern California News Group. Welcome, Rodney. Welcome back to Rome. Um, so, I, Rome, when you started the year last year, I mean, the Clippers were overlooked and, and you guys surprised a lot of people. You come in this year, not overlooked at all, um, favorites maybe. And h how does that feel different and, and how, kind of what, what goes through your mind sort of in that respect? I would say that it's funny that you kind of say the difference, but like none of our approach has kind of been different. Like we're grinded out guys, we're, we're grinded out team. Our pickups have been so super intense. Um, so there's, there was no difference as far as like our preparation for this year, you know. Uh, it wasn't no, it, it wasn't laid back, you know, like, oh, it's going to be a long year. It's, no, we're, we're, we're here to win every game we step on the court. So it's, it's been really no difference. Uh, Kahari Jones, Motivated Purpose. Um, it's a lot of veterans on this team. So who would you all say is your biggest mentors? And what are you learning from them? Yeah, so I learned different things from, from each one of them. Um, Pat and Lou, I've been with the longest. Um, so it's, they're not total opposite players, but, you know, Pat's mentality as far as the defense end and then lose, lose offensive abilities are both remarkable on both sides. And just being able to pick and, pick their brains and, and them being such open people and, and loving guys that like they'll sit here and talk to you about basketball and, and teach you, walk you through it, you know what I mean? Until you get it. Um, so it's, it's been great. And then having PG and Kawhi, I mean, I remember after our first game of PG and PG's working out and he's like, Rome, like, should I did this, that, like I hit a move. I'm like, like those guys are, are very willing people uh, to work with you and to learn from. Pernod from the scorecard. What are the film what are, what are the film sessions with the doc like? <laughs> Long. It, 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 yeah, they are long. <laughs> they are long film sessions. Um, but I mean, it's just so much knowledge. Um, but you start to kind of get the routine of it. Um, we go over the offense, we go over the defense, and it's it's an open room. If somebody has input to, to put in, they're gonna they're gonna put their input in, and if if it clashes, and they're gonna talk it, they're gonna talk it out and, and figure out the right solution for us to be better.
All right, we got time for one more. Hey guys, uh, Andrew Greif, LA Times. For both of you guys, you talked about how Paul was giving you some insight uh, recently into your game. He made it sound like you know he hasn't really been able to go in those preseason intense uh, workouts you guys have had. But what has he brought, um, despite not really being out being out there on the court with you guys for some of that five on five run? Is there something he's he's helped out with? Uh, I would just say just his presence. You know, he's had that playoff experience. You know, so just his knowledge and you know is. Just him being there for real. Like, you know what I mean? Sometimes guys don't have to do anything, but just their presence in the room, you kind of feel them and you feel their support. And you know that they're there for you. And we all just decided for one another, you know? Yeah, I, I would say his presence is the biggest thing. Um, I mean, you see him getting better every day, um, him grinding. Um, at the same time, you're doing the same thing. But his, his presence, being able to watch, being able to, you know, talk, um, it's, it's been a great experience with those guys.